Okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meeting for Facebook Live. <laughs> there it is. Awesome. Okay. So hi everybody. Good morning. We're waking morning. up. Okay. We were we were we were trying to get into the live and it said I didn't have permission to go into my own <laughs> Facebook group. But anyway, we made it. So uh, it's 8 16 a.m. here in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, 7 16 on the West Coast. And Courtney Simroth, what time is it where you are? It is 9 16. 9 16. Nice. All right. So, hello, everyone. I am Samantha <laughs> Buckley Hugeson, Master Life Coach for Women in Business and your host of the Women in Business Networking Community. So, it's Woohoo Wednesday. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like I was going to change days of doing this, but it's so fun to say Woohoo Wednesday. Woohoo. Right. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and uh, this is your day. This, this, is, is your day to learn and grow and support mm -hmm. uh, each other. And so um, today, from now until almost the top of the hour, we're spotlighting uh, fellow women in business, sisters, amigas, you know, to <laughs> lead and inspire and teach and to grow you. So without any further ado, this morning, which by the way, I've decided that this is the last morning we're going to do it this early. Because truthfully, I get a lot of people watching the replays. But if you're not, you know, up and doing it with us, then we're going to do it later in the day. So that's that. So Courtney, thanks for getting up. And uh, I, My know, pleasure. I know that you're a mom to a couple of teens and you have your business. Yes. So thank you so much. Um, anyway, so uh, here, <laughs> here she is, Courtney Simroth. She's the founder of Macaba life mm -hmm. i hope i'm saying that right you can mock above yes mock -above. Close enough. <laughs> we're gonna break that down in a minute yes courtney guides individuals on a transformative journey you know unraveling the layers of societal conditioning um revealing the authentic self within she's got expertise as self-development and a business coach she's got over 25 certifications in healing arts she empowers <laughs> counting. People. wow she she empowers people to authentically embrace their uniqueness definitely mm -hmm. i love that piece we're going to break that down too uh her mission is to inspire others to daily embody their soul's truth fostering personal mm -hmm. and professional growth so <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out thank you for having me so I, I want to hear about, I want to hear about what you do, who you be in the world. But before I want to kind of find out who you are as the person before we get to the professional. So sure. tell us about you. So I am Courtney and I am in my mid forties, about to hit the 45. So <laughs> um, I have been um in all kinds of hats before um originally my life kind of uh, or my adulthood started off um as a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. for about 10 years um homeschooled the kids I mean that was my life that was every label my identity was attached to you know <laughs> a wife a mother um 24 7 kids all the time you know um and then life happened uh one day I found myself in a position where I didn't have my husband anymore and he had taken my kids and I didn't know who I was. And I was like, what do I do now? You know, cause I had literally attached all of those labels to my identity, you know? And I started to realize after taking some time to heal, we're more than the labels, you know, there's something in our soul at the core of who we are. And that's what I wanted to get in touch with. You know, um, and then I kind of had a this blank space in front of me, you know, this blank canvas to do whatever I wanted at that point. You know, I'm like, what do I do with my life now? <laughs> hmm. And I knew in my heart I wanted to serve people, to help people. 
And so I kind of um, found my way into health coaching of all things. And I started there um, because I kind of dabbled in like essential oils and things like that, you know, and um, as that developed in health coaching school, I realized health was more than what was on your plate. You know, it's your lifestyle, it's your spirituality, you know, your relationships and all of these things. And so um, I got to the point where I was like, you know, not too many people realize that, you know, you can be overweight, you can be unhealthy, you can have all of these things. Um kind of wrong in your body but not realize that it's not the food that's causing all of it you know (laughs) and so I started coaching on that and then that just led to opening up all of my gifts and exploring those gifts and the healing and all of that stuff so um eight years later yeah (laughs) so you live where how old are the kids you know because a lot of us you know, are leaders or self-employed or, you know, what have you. Yeah. Um, And we are doing what you're doing, you know, maybe not the same job, maybe not the same description, but we are juggling life and uh, being single or being married or, you know, kids or pets or aging parents or yes and all right so (laughs) right so tell us now I've got two teenagers two um two kids they are 16 and 17 wow Um, okay so I am raising them on my own and uh, 24 7 with them again I've got them back 24 7 so um and so I've been raising them juggling that you know trying to get them ready for life you know, and to go into adulthood, teaching the driving, teaching life skills. <laughs> I have, I have a 18 and 20 year old. So yeah, that's close, right? The yeah, of course. So um, I do that three dogs, boyfriend, you know, just trying to juggle all that and not be a workaholic anymore, because I like to enjoy those things, <laughs> you know. Good. So. Well, I'll, I'll help you with that because uh, I'm all about time freedom and money freedom at the same yeah. time right love so, it uh yeah that's uh I think at, now I'm older than you so I reinvented myself at 45 nice. um, that's when I became a life coach I mean my husband used to say you do it anyway you might as well just do it for a <laughs> right. job right. and um I'm 57 so mm-hmm. I get it I get it yeah. girl yeah um okay so Tell us, like, what can you share? What do you think would be a great gift for listeners or the women in the community? Like, what do they need to know? Um, there's an energy energy shift that's coming into 2024. I think it's going to be more than just a trend. Um, you know, over the last few years, we've looked at like influencers um, as a trend. You know, that's kind of become a big thing in business. I think the biggest shift in energy right now are people craving the abandonment of competition and they are wanting to move more into collaboration and community. And I think that's going to be so huge this year. Okay. You're not the first person to say that. So thank you for sharing that. And it, it's uh, something that. Who is, oh, okay. So I have a challenge going right now. It's too late for people to change, to join it. So I'm not promoting it. I'm just sharing about it (laughs) in your space, you know, is, uh, so I have a challenge, a good to great challenge going right now. And I go live on Tuesday mornings and I do Q and A and we brought up, I brought it up to the group yesterday, the, the people in the group. And I said, community is really, really important. Yeah community is really important and it's happening and I feel grateful that I shifted out of the competition space yes a long time ago you know uh all you know high tide raises all boats or all boats raise the high tide or whatever I'll I'll (laughs) oh my god it's so early now I'm just the uh all boats rise in the high tide however you want to say um there's enough for everyone yeah so when you get into that collaboration now it's you know I have a group two groups that I run one 
is a month and it's a design your business mastermind group. And then I have another group mm -hmm. that actually is today, you know, one mm -hmm. o'clock of women. Sorry, it's only women. Um, and it is also a mindset motivation and mastermind group. And yeah. a lot of people don't know that, that that is collaboration. That is yes. drawing from either your own experience mm -hmm. or source delivering you messages that others yes. that, you know, need to come through you for others. Yes. Right? And these are business women. So, you know, we got the woo woo going and we're, you know, making yeah. money Love and it. driving stuff like that, but we're doing it through kind of a, a woo woo way, a right. you know, spiritual way. So anyway, I didn't mean to steal your thunder, but you're absolutely right. There's community yeah. collaboration. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So for, for, for people that are listening how now, what would that look like for them? Like how, how would they do that? How would they, you know, get out of their mental or emotional cubicle? Right. So that kind of comes down to um, knowing how to release that competition mindset, because I think that's one of the very first things we're taught in business, that everyone is competition and you have to do it so differently. And, you know, so you got to stay ahead of them and, you know, all of this stuff. But there's so many bigger ripples to be made when you do it together, um, when you can collaborate together, put these great minds together. Um, but I think there's a lot of people that don't know how to do that because they are stuck in this, you know, collaboration mindset, or I'm sorry, the competition mindset. Competition. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, um, one way to eliminate the competition mindset is to know exactly who you are at a soul level. And that's one thing I do in my coaching is teach people how to kind of unlearn everything they've been told so that they realize what's possible. Right. <laughs> And then figure out who they are, what makes them unique, you know, what makes them stand out. Um, because we weren't all made to be the same. And our fingerprints are the perfect example of that. No one has the same fingerprint, you know. So when we were created, we weren't created to all fit in the same box to do the same mm -hmm. things. You know, we were meant to stand out and be an individual, you know, to be unique, to embrace what's quirky about us, you know. And I think once we do that, it really can translate into your business. That what sets your business apart? It's you. You know, it's the way you do things. <laughs> so once you understand who you are on that soul level, you can it like everything else around you just disappears. You're just in your zone doing your thing. You know, it doesn't matter what this person over here is doing or that person over there is doing. There's an aspect of market research that's important, but it's not in a competition aspect, you know. Right that just kind of disappears behind you, you know, because you just know who you are, you feel good showing up as that. And that's what I help people do now is to be able to show up just as they are. So, so I've got two words that are coming to me and I just want you to expand on how they land on you. Yeah. Okay. One is judgment and mm -hmm. the other one is self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those, those are two, two important things. things. Based, yeah, based on <laughs> what you're doing, those are two things that would really show up in somebody within your the way you do your work, I would yeah. think. Yeah, so judgment, um, that can show up in a, a lot of different ways. It can be judgment on yourself or even the fear of judgment from others, um, especially if you were if raised you're a certain me. way. I'm just kidding. <laughs> especially if you were raised a certain way, that may be very triggering to to be able to stand out and be who you are unapologetically right <laughs> um because you have a history with your family you have a history right. with, you know childhood friends even you know and it's hard to to kind of shift out of who they thought you were who they told you you were you know and become who you actually are and so, so to do that I think um to really get rid of the judgment is to you know, I do this exercise with my clients where I have them ask the five people closest to them to give them words that describe them. What words come to mind when you think of me? Mm -hmm. And I think that's really surprising for a lot of people because the people that are closest to them really actually already see who they are in a core level, you know? And I think once you hear that for yourself, that there are people that understand that those are your people. That's your tribe, right? <laughs> yes. So that's your community and that's what people are going to be embracing too. So Courtney, but. I want you to 
give that advice to anybody listening today. Make that one of your uh, goals today is ask the five people closest to you yes. a word or to describe you. Is that, is that what, you, is it a word that, is that the tool? Yeah, it could be a word or two words, you know, a couple um, of words, not a, yeah. not a total like paragraph. Yeah. You don't need an essay or anything like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the genuineness comes out of the simplicity yes. of a word or two. Right. right. And when you hear someone else say it, you start to believe it a little more and then you can start to say it to yourself. And the more you say it to yourself, the more you can believe it because you feel it in your soul. You know, that's who you are. So when you start to say it to yourself, it just resonates and this energy just starts vibing and you, you know, you can't deny that's who you are because your soul is telling you that's it, you know? So, and, and you use the word deny that you can't deny that because a lot of people have a challenge receiving, you know, they have a hard time receiving compliments or receiving gifts or receiving, you know, and again, that's kind of how we're raised at least, you know, certain generations of that. And so be a gracious receiver, ladies, you know, Courtney's giving you this really cool exercise um, to get to the core of who you are, who, how people really see you. Um, You know, uh, I worked with a coach and mentor who I just adore and she she gives credit to uh, somebody that she worked with. I don't know who their name, but um, mm. saying, you know, you can't see your own eyebrows. Mm. You can't see your own eyebrows. That's why we have coaches. That's why we have mm. trusted advisors because they see us. Yes. They see for us, you know. Yes. So when you get your five people and your words, ladies, be gracious receivers. Don't block yeah you know don't block it oh no I'm not oh and and, you know you can be surprised exactly (laughs) you can be surprised but you know it's uh yeah anyway there's that okay (laughs) so then let's move into and I know this answer already but I want you Mm -hmm. to share it for people that might be working with you so how does that impact self-esteem now if we know who Um, we are in our quirkiness and our greatness you know I think when you learn who you are and the more you practice being that person, the more you're capable of living that unapologetically. And the more you're capable of living that unapologetically, it's hard to lower your self-esteem. You know, you will take hits time to time. People are people and people can be mean. You know, you can't stop what they say about you, but you can stop what you believe about yourself. You know, you can shift what you believe about yourself. So could that, I mean, I that becomes like armor, you know, self yes. to me and, and I'm confident self-esteem, not talking ego. Yes. Um, but those things become like armor, you know, it's like, well, yes. hmm, interesting. So do you have a word for this year? Did you choose a word? Um, you know, it's funny this year, I'm actually kind of shifting my word into a number because I love angel numbers. I love numerology. And I actually have it here on my necklace. It's 333. And it's the number for expansion. And being able to allow myself to expand, you know, to not play small anymore. I want to play big, you know, (laughs) I want to grow big in my business. I want to grow personally, you know, and this is my year to do that. I I have this goal. I've had all these little um, more healing modalities that I've been studying, you know, to kind of up my repertoire and, I'm hoping by the end of the year, I want to have at least 30 um, under my belt now (laughs) and I can do it. And I just kind of challenge myself. I'm like, this is my year. I'm going to get back on it. I'm going to expand my knowledge. I'm going to like get these certifications knocked out. You know, I'm going to complete what I started. So it's just my year of expansion, really. No, that's great. Well, so you do have a word. I mean, but you have a number. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right. And it's funny, 333, three, three, because there was yeah. a period, period. To me, that feels more universally connected instead of just saying expansion. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I it's I love 333. Three, three. It was a period oh. of time, probably. God, I just kept waking up and the clock was 333. Three, 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 I love that. 333. Three, three. That hasn't happened yeah. in a couple of years. But um, OK, so 333, 333. Three, three, perfect. Mm-hmm. present expansion now you have you know I don't know we've got a little over 
almost 700 people in the group. So those that watch this, now you have accountability partners. Everybody can yes. and Courtney and say, did you get your 30? I know. Here I am, Antonia. You know, every mile check 30. in with me and be like, did you do it? Did you do the thing? How close are you being done? Gonna do <laughs> How close it. are you being done? What's your next yeah. best move is going to be yes. the great <laughs> answer there. Yeah, my word is curious. Mm, I love that. Yeah, it was it was clarity, but it's curious now. I want to be curious yeah. about people. Yes. I'm be curious about places. I want to be curious about opinions or knowledge or, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so, uh, just be open to, I want to be curious. Yeah. I love that. It's, it's I love a learning that. thing. A, yeah. That's a very important word in my coaching too, to be able to unlearn all they've been told. I was like, you need to start asking why. I was like, take in that inner child at five years old where you were asking why to everything and bring them back. You know, don't let anyone shut you down and tell you not to ask. I was like, you start asking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why is it like this? Why do I believe this? You know? Right. Yeah. Describe your clients to me. Like who, who, tell me about your clients. Who are they? Um, they're, they are people who have gone through this life shift. You know, they've kind of lost their identity. Something has happened where they have attached their identity to certain labels, um, and kind of lost themselves along the way and just got to a point where they don't know who they are anymore. They don't know where they're going. They're just spinning their wheels and they're not happy. Mm -hmm. um, Brene Brown wrote a book, Top Five Regrets of the Dying. And the number one regret was, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. And that is the shift I'm trying to make in this universe. You know, the ripple I'm trying to create is to to change that narrative so mm -hmm. that people don't die with that regret, you know, <laughs> um, but that's, are you doing it? One. Are you doing it? I am. Okay. So I'm going to coach you, you yes. know, pick trying. You're not trying, you're doing it. So what yeah. I'm doing is. Yes. There we go. <laughs> okay? Because you're doing it. Yes. So, uh, try is such energetically weak. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yeah. I'm, I'm a different kind of coach. So that's why, you know, it's so great that we can work together Absolutely. and love and honor each other in like, oh, I see, I see your eyebrows. Right. Exactly. <laughs> this is why we need that community. You know, we need that collaboration, that community, because we see each other. You know, yes. if yeah. I'm looking at you and you're looking at me like, oh, they're competition. There's like automatically this wall. Right. <laughs> so that's like we got to lower those walls and start looking at each other and helping each other out. That is, so, so do you have a community? Tell us about I, your community. I do. Um, I have, I'm actually in a few communities <laughs> um, because I think the more the merrier, everybody has something to bring to the table. And I think the more I surround myself with different kinds of people and different kinds of groups, like the more I learn, you know, it's kind of your word, curiouser, you know? <laughs> yeah, curiouser. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, you know, I'm in your group on Facebook. I am um, in a couple other business groups, um, one here locally in Tulsa, um, and then one that's worldwide, um, She Heals the World. Um, I'm in that group. Um, I can't even tell you the other ones right now. Those are the main ones <laughs> that I, I so focus on right now. I, this is really important, I think. And I, and it just comes to me. So, you know, the only thing that's scripted in my conversations with mm -hmm. you guys is the opening. And sometimes like, I don't even do that. Like last week with Becca Young, I didn't even do the opening. So, you know, okay. it's just about being together and uh, yeah. flawed and, you know, perfectly imperfect. And that exactly. <laughs> is that it's funny because I, I don't know how you came to my group except mm -hmm. I have Jen, who's one of my assistants, who literally searches for women who um, are in the archetype. They're, they're actually mm -hmm. in my, my ideal client, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's for this group, you know? Right. I mean, I'm, I'm building other things because I'm so excited about the community. Fair enough. Right, yes. But this group is, it's meant to be all women. You meant to be a leader. And again, leader could be me. I lead me, myself, and I, or it could be, yeah. you know, I run a giant department or whatever it is. It's just somebody in right. a leader who's in a business situation. Yeah. 
And then we do a lot of the life stuff around the business situation, right? Mm -hmm. And my whole goal of this group was to give support because like you, like all coaches, we want to help people. That's really why we become coaches because it's not because, you know, the core of every coach is to help people. Unfortunately, many get off track and it becomes all about money and things like that. Don't get me wrong. Money is awesome. I love money and I ain't cheap. So please don't get the (laughs) wrong impression here. Um, I I think money's fantastic. It's an amazing tool towards freedom, you know? Yeah. And I can do a lot with it. I can share it and donate it and do free stuff all the time. So that's, you know, for people anyway. So it, it's, Finding these women to create community. Yes, it's called a group. Mm -hmm. But as Jen invites women to the group, a lot of them say, I'm in so many groups. Mm -hmm. I I find this group that we're in unique. And if you have one, I'd love you to share as well. And the reason I say I find it unique is because I was I was also in other groups on Facebook, but they seem to be all marketing to me. Mm hmm. All they were doing is pitching and selling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see that a lot too. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, there's definitely a place for sales. We're all in sales. Guess what? You know, we uh, yeah. we need to live and support our kids and do all that kind of good stuff. Exactly. And sales, sales actually means to be of service. It's just been taken way away. Mm-hmm. So, so when you, do you speak to groups? Do you you know, or you do one-on-one? Yeah, I do one-on-one mostly right now. Um, I'm starting to build out kind of a dream of mine because I have so many niche knowledge. (laughs) It's like um, one one dream I'm working on that I want to complete in the next year or two, um, that's kind of my timeline, is to build um, kind of this uh, museum of knowledge. So putting together all these different little nuggets of wisdom that I have and kind of making a learning platform where people can just, you know, get into it and be like, okay, I'm struggling in um, self-esteem today, you know, and I'll have all these training videos on like self-esteem and ways to like kind of work through that, you know, Um, maybe they want to learn EFT tapping, you know, and kind of break through and rewire the brain through EFT tapping. And I'll have videos on how to do that, you know, and just taking all these little niche knowledges, because I do have a lot of certifications in healing arts. Yes. And it's like, I can't use them all at once. So I was like, this is my way to kind of put it out there and help other people learn the same thing, you know, incredible tools. Yeah, you have all these tools. So ladies, yeah. if you're watching this, this is this is why we do this. <laughs> <laughs> why I like to meet and interview yeah. people. I've never met Courtney before, but look at right. all the gifts, A, that she has, and B, that she is purposefully learning, going to give. Yeah. Go get mentors, go get coaches, go get someone to support and help you. Right. Um, you know, it, I asked you about who you were because we, maybe the ladies identify with you. It's like, oh my God, I'm a single mom too. Oh yeah. my God. You know, yeah. my, hus- my husband <laughs> up and left and two, she can, she sees me. She relates to me. Yes. Right. Um, I love all your certifications. If you knew my story, <laughs> I don't know if you've read my book, but I was a big quitter. Like when I was young, mm. I dropped out of high school a couple of times <laughs> and right. I dropped out of college. And so when I went to school to become a coach in 2011, 2009, I quit my job 2009. To, yeah, I started school in 2009. Mm-hmm. It was scary. Yeah. But I didn't quit. Just so you know, I kicked ass at it. I'm glad I didn't quit. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy to know you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So tell me so far, we, let's do a little take takeaways. And then I want you to kind of take us out mm-hmm. today. Okay. You gave everybody a really cool assignment. Repeat yeah. what the assignment was. So ask the three to five people closest to you, whether it's family members, close friends, you know, relationships, kids, you know, sometimes your kids know you the best. Ask them, the five people closest to you, what words come up for you? when you think about who I am and 
be patient and their response, you know, have some grace in that, whether you believe what they're saying or not, just receive it, you know, receive it, don't judge it, just receive it. <laughs> and um, see what they have to say about you. And you might be surprised to figure out these people know you on a soul level, some maybe possibly better than you know yourself right now. And that's, that's a good place to start. I just think that's the coolest. I'm going to go do that today. Yeah. But, you know, I'm so going to go do that. The first time I did that for myself, the words I was getting back, I was just in tears because I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so seen. Like these are things I didn't think people were noticing about me. Like I know who I am, like, but I didn't know that other people knew who I was. You know, I thought I was still being judged for who I was. And like, these are things they love about me. And it's like, I can love about, I can love that about myself too. You know? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, I think that we should make an assignment in the group that people list the, yeah. the words they got. Oh, I would love to see that. I would love. Okay. To so that. here's, I have to work this morning and then, uh, someone who I adore, I'm doing a workshop on Friday for mm -hmm. YPO. But unfortunately, this person who I adore, who's leading all this, has dengue. <laughs> so I may have to go do that workshop today to try and fill in time because they won't let her out of the hospital. So sure. I'm going to take care, take care of her guests that have just flown in sure. and uh, do their do a workshop. So I can't really get in here a lot today. Courtney, would you get in here and just... I would people. love to do that. Yeah, get in yeah. here and get their words because I think yeah. that that's so powerful. And then, of course, I want you to put all your contact and all your Absolutely. everything in here so people can talk to you, find you, um, you know, learn about you and what you do and how you serve. Yeah, of course. I would love to do that. So cool. Did <laughs> I miss anything today with you? Is there anything that uh, you'd like to share that I didn't get to? Um, <laughs> well, it's just a little quirky. People wonder, um, because my, my business name is as odd as my last name, I think. And, um, so where I got Makaba from. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. Um, <laughs> there was actually a song. I was starting my business out or starting to rebrand my business for the first time. And there was a song I was just so addicted to by Jane, J-A-I-N. -A and, um, she's from South Africa, I believe. And she had a song called Makaba. And it was just so catchy. And I just danced all the time because I love to dance. And I was dancing to it all the time. And I started, I got my curious hat on, you know, and I started I, asking why. Like, why did she name it Makaba? What does this mean? And I realized it was Miriam Makaba. Um, it, but when I started Googling this, the Urban Dictionary came up for me, right? <laughs> and so Makaba, by definition of the Urban Dictionary, defines Makaba as a person who is absolutely magnificent in every aspect a human can be. Um, it refers to someone who is an excellent friend, a fantastic lover, who is trustworthy, honest, yet attractive, and absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, this is my business name. This is what I'm oh. going to do for my clients. If you don't feel those feelings when you wake up every day, we're gonna talk. <laughs> And we're going to make you feel like that. So Woo! <laughs> it is the Who doesn't want to wake up. Right. Makaba. Who doesn't want to be Makaba? Right. Why not you? <laughs> you know, why exactly. not everybody? Oh, women. Wake up, feel that way unapologetically. Right? I, you know, um, I just caught a little bit of news this morning, little TV. I, I watch very little, but, um, and Today they featured the um, top 50 women over 50. I know you're not there yet. Right. But I'm telling you right now, women, that's another thing that's going to be big in 2024. And yeah. if we yeah. if we women get into community and collaboration, mm -hmm. wow. We're going to lead that, I feel like. I feel like it's going to be women leading that effort because we are so nurturing. I mean, that's just something that's ingrained in us a little bit more than men, you know, being more nurturing, more compassionate and wanting to come together, you know, right, <laughs> um, right. we don't have to be mean girls to each other, you know, no, 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 <laughs> like, you know what, that's taking, amazing, that's incredible, that's like, yeah. taking yeah. the energy from so many purpose-driven women and putting them together can only make huge ripples, 
you know, yeah. and that's yeah. what we want, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love the, um, e-women's network, which I'm not part of, but I really love their slogan, you know, lift as you climb. Yes. I love that slogan. I love that. Right. So, you know, remove the competition. There's definitely enough for everybody. If for some yes. reason you have a challenge with that, then, def you know, for sure, reach out to Courtney or me. We will help break you from that competition mindset. Now, competition mm -hmm. and winning are not the same thing. No. So remember that. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that, you know, winning is, is, you know, yeah, it's not yeah. the same thing. Right. It's, okay. it's not... okay to win. It's okay to be the best. It's, so, it's yeah. good, all great things. Right. By the way, the better you get, the more you encourage people. What's possible for one is possible for yeah. everyone. Yes. So, you know, if you can do it, so can I. And that's how I feel too. Every time I, I sign a client or every time I have success with a client, um, you know, these things where I get to talk to people like this, you know, and share wisdom. Um, to me, that's my win, but I'm doing it as myself. I'm not doing it against anyone else, you know, or to put anyone else down. It's like, I'm just here being me. And <laughs> so you know, that's my win. It's a, it's a coaching point that I use a lot. And I will tell you, when, because there's, and you've met them and you, you may have been one at one time. I was one at one time, someone who has a hard time, maybe with their boundaries or having their voice. Mm, right. Yes. And I always tell them, listen, yeah, you know, that you need to do this, whatever yeah. this is. Well, you know, so-and-so is not going to like it and blah, blah, blah. It's not against so-and-so it's for you. And yes. it's important to tell people, listen, this is not against you. This is just yes. for me. This is something I need to be doing for myself. And it really, narcissist friend, has nothing to do with you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, controlling, judgy person that's going to make me feel bad for doing something for me. Right. Anyway, that's how I <laughs> So anyway, that's you. <laughs> All right, sis. Well, I got to wrap up because I got a client coming. Um, sure. Thank you so. Oh, I'm much. happy to be here. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for that having me. Super fun. <laughs> yeah, and remember, you're in charge today of this thread do that. and just popping in and putting all your deets and welcoming questions and know. asking and you know getting the words and all that. Okay, so now mm -hmm. I'm going to read my out. That's why I Perfect. say when they say get <laughs> out, I say. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, <laughs> remember, starting next week, we're going to be later in the morning. So uh, y'all going to have to take a coffee break or something to listen and tune in. <laughs> um, make sure and hit get notifications from this group so that when we do things like go live and whatever, it's like, oh, you know, they're live. Woohoo. So you can okay. show up. Um, you don't want to miss your opportunities to talk and ask questions of the inspiring women that I'm so blessed to get to talk to every week. <laughs> um, and if you're interested in learning more about how to purposefully design your life, then of course you can look at my link in comments for what I do for women in the world as well. So Mwah! Courtney, you're Thank you. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So much. <laughs> All right. Take care. Right. If you need any little thing, message me, okay? I will. All right. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye.